evening and welcome to Sporlitics, where sports and politics mix and mingle. I'm Stacey Johnson. Joining me tonight is Akuna, the voice of reason, Stephen, the independent thinker, Keith, the constitutional conservative, and my cousin Todd. We have a packed show for you tonight. Vice President Harris has picked her running mate, Governor Walls, Walls of Minnesota. What do you think? The Olympic medal count is increasing for Americans and former Mayor Bloomberg donates $600 million to four black medical school endowments. Why did Italian boxer Angela Carini apologize to Olympic fight winner Iman Khalif? And one of the squad members, Cori Bush, Congresswoman Cori Bush of Missouri, loses her Democratic primary. And the, uh, preparing to, again to defend Israel, the U.S. presses Iran and Israel to both de-escalate. After emotional family reunions, the three Americans freed in a historic prisoner swap in Russia face a challenging road ahead. What was that? A popular trading strategy just blew up invest investors' faces and financial markets all over the world heard and felt it earliest this week. Please, Those things everybody. and more, if we can fit it in, first up, the Olympics. Okay. What did you say, Cousin Todd? You're just, Mute you're everybody. Kind of uh, Mute everybody. There was a thousand things going on. I didn't, didn't hear any them. of it. Oh. I didn't hear any of it. Okay. I didn't hear any of it. Okay. Can anybody hear me? Yes. Yeah, Stephen. We hear you. I can't hear. Oh, Stephen can't hear you. I uh, hear you. Stephen. So we're going to play a little bit about what we saw with the Olympics. And yes. then uh, everyone's comments. Uh, these are this is just. I'm gonna uh, hang up and try again. Track and field, please, 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 please. Here we go. Stephen will be back. It's the final of the men's 400 meters. Let's go! Yeah. You already see Jareen Richards on the outside going out extremely quickly. So has Simon Conga third from the left. Keep your eye also on Karani James, who's just about dead center of your picture right now. It's Karani James and Matthew Hudson Smith who are running the best backstretch and now the turn. But look at Jareen Richards, who has the experience of the 200. But watch Hall. He's fading badly at this point, Lee. Jareen Richards on the outside. Matthew Hudson Smith, Karani James, Quincy Hall is coming back. Quincy Hall is digging deep. Quincy Hall is running past. Can he get there? He does. Woo! Woo! All right. Came out of since nowhere. We woo -woo. Since we heard the woo woo, that woo -woo -woo -woo. brother came out of nowhere. Woo! From the Keith, juice. Keith, you want to talk about it first? Well, I just say that brother came out of nowhere. <laughs> I love to see those brothers run. Hey, Kyle, oh. hey, Kyle, uh, and this is where me and Todd may agree. Todd, we should agree on this. The brothers, man, you just can't beat the brothers. They are just, no matter what country they're in, they are doing great. <laughs> well, wait a That's minute. That's not true. Let me get this. That's not always wait. true. Wait, Stacy, Stacy, he's talking to me. So just be <laughs> still. Now, Keith, are you saying that all black men can do is run fast? No, I didn't say that. I said that they just can't beat the brothers. Yeah. Who can't beat the brothers? I don't understand the, your terminology. Uh, Who can't you know, beat the brothers? I thought you would agree with me on that. I said, Who I said, uh, you know, in, in this race, in this race, you saw all black men, well, pretty much, and in the, in the race, just about mostly black men or mostly but black I women. Want to and, know, I, and I'm just pointing out the fact that no matter what country it is, yes. they're usually black. <laughs> most of them. Okay. I so said what, most of them. So I just asked you this question. You did, You sound like Donald Trump. Oh, I said, are you saying black men can run fast? Number yeah. one. Okay, yeah. number two, you <laughs> said you just can't beat the brothers. Who cannot <laughs> beat the brothers specifically? Well, the uh, usually the other mm -hmm. other races, 
because you know there are many other races like in, white uh, people is that what you're trying to well, say that you're afraid whites. to say europeans yeah. Not just whites, but how many how many Latin uh, Latin Americans do you see in there? How many Chinese? What about the Chinese? You know, the Chinese were doing well in gymnastics. That's where they they were strongest. I mean, I find that very interesting. Um, the Chinese uh, and the uh, and the Japanese did very well in gymnastics. They are very strong, and it's hard to beat. And also diving, diving. The Japanese girls, man. They, I mean, the Chinese girls. And then you had the white boys. They were doing great with swimming. There was one black, but not too many. So I, I find that very interesting, the sports that they choose <laughs> and for their abilities. And God has given us uh, certain abilities, I guess, that in certain uh, races, you might say they're different. I mean, that proves something to me. Actually, I just see this. All men are created equal, but not all men are created equal in physical prowess or ability. All men are created equal in that they are created in the image of, and likeness of God. So that shows you that the Declaration of Independence is a good document to understand how all men are created equal. We need oh, to have okay. You've wasted my time. And Todd, you've encouraged him to yes. waste my time. Thank and we you, need to Stacey. be covering the Olympics. So let me share my screen so we can move on. And Keith, I'm sure <laughs> you'll want to talk specifically about this. This are uh, Italian, all men Italian are created monster. equal. What about yes. women? Women are left yeah. out of that. No, men means mankind. All men and women. It's why talking didn't, about mankind. So then, yeah. why didn't they say that? Were they dumb and ignorant? No, they said mankind later on. In the, uh, in the same they text. said all men. Yeah. Stop talking, all Todd. Men. All men means mankind. That means I'm making too much sense for states. That means the human race. Some supporters to. In the ring, Italian fighter Angela Carini abruptly withdrawing from her match against Algeria's Aman Khalif after just 46 seconds and some hard punches. Khalif's participation in the women's matches has been under renewed scrutiny. She was disqualified from last year's world championships after the International Boxing Association said she failed a gender eligibility test. The International Olympic Committee saying this morning that all the athletes in the tournament comply with the competition's regulations. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show. Okay. Um, let's start with Aguna. If he could get his, if Aguna could get his lights right, I would appreciate the lights you had before look better. What happened to the light in the background? That looked better. I took it off so I could see myself. I can, there was a glare. Oh. Uh, so you can see yourself. What is wrong with you? That sounds like you something just, a narcissist would say. Yeah. All it you takes do is one know one. One. It takes one to know one. Oh All right. God. Anyway, so look. So didn't do you didn't want to talk come, about this boxing match? Yeah, I was gonna say. So didn't they come out to say that she, she was born? Wasn't she born um a woman? It was just she had like some it, bottom line of it, she was a woman. Right, and I thought That's that they man. came out and confirmed that later. Um, so, man. I, you know, I think she had like uh, she had. Some, I don't know personally, genitalia or something was going on. However, <laughs> they were she was she was born a female. Okay, we can hardly see. You're gonna have to get some light in there somewhere. I don't have okay. to be. Behind I, I got the light that you here. sent me. I hey, take a take a oh, flashlight like, like you're doing it like you're doing scary stories. Yes, we can see him, Stacy. So stop harping on that. We move on. No, no, we want me to get <laughs> off. You know. Yeah, you got hey, some I'm nerve, good. cousin Todd. Hey, that looks better when I don't know hey. what you did. I, I'm not doing anything. I think it's the color. Okay. <laughs> Keith got his um flashlight. All Tell right, thank you for the effects. We're gonna move you know, on. You know, um, a joke. Nas did say you look like Count Chocula, Keith. <laughs> so, Keith, you wanted to talk about the fighter being a gender other than male. And come to find out, the fighter's gender was female. And what are your comments? I don't believe it. Simple as that. I think it's a. I mean, it's I not for it's you to propaganda. believe. That's what came so out. What are you I mean, going to do? How are you going you? to find out whether or not it's true? You're going to check. Go look her? for us, Keith. Since you're, hey, you're so worried about that's it. the only thing. That's my comment. I don't believe it. I mean, they they lie so much in the. You uh, believe it enough arena. to bring it up? No. I'm not. Uh, that's it. Why that's are you worried about it? I don't believe it. 
Why are you worried about it? Is the question. I'm not worried about a thing. I you, you know, brought I, it I, up. I didn't even know. I oh well, look. I I just think that the girl quit. She quit. She never been hit as hard that hard. She said. But I, you know, I believe that that was a uh, boy. I mean, a man. Or whatever. <laughs> so, so even though reports have confirmed that she wasn't, you just want to right. believe it. Because okay, I don't cool. believe, because I don't believe their okay. reports. Sure. Right. Don't you believe, don't believe I the believe, sky is blue either. I don't believe their reports anymore. And I believe Kamala Harris and her. Yeah, exactly. You just, that, let's not believe anything. That's what we're going to, we're, yeah. we're going to stick to I don't that. Believe. Well, no, well, you guys do. Same we thing. believe everything Trump yeah. says. The same thing. You, Only you if Trump choose, says it, we believe You pick it. and choose what you yeah, want to believe. I pick and choose right. what I want to believe. Okay, yeah. so, no. Go. The Next. Facts. We Next. follow the facts. Next. Next. You got so that you right. You just wanted to Next. come on the show to say you don't believe something just to make a point that you don't believe in it. Good job. Here we go. Do you know the difference between fact and fiction? Why hasn't Desalu of Italy in lane right. seven in between Noah Mr. and Letzile Tobogo. I don't think this semifinal is going to present any problems for Noah. It should be as dominant as we saw the win in the first semifinal by Benaric. Sir. Where we go, semi two of the 200, and Noah Lyle, center of your screen. Pretty conservative through the first half of the turn, but now you're going to see him get on the gas. On the inside, Aaron Brown looks good. Brown on the inside. Noah's got some work to do to get Tobogo, but he won't be worried about that. He knows that the top two go through. Tobogo, the number one qualifier, then Noah Lyles. All right. Hey. Them brothers. Who wants to talk about that? Well, like I said, those brothers can move. I wonder which one I'm going to be playing uh, in the NFL, uh, Aguna. None of them. <laughs> Drown. Well, I wonder <laughs> if I could real quick, Stacy. I didn't get to mention the men's gym, gymnastics, and they got the bronze yeah. first time they've medaled in a long time, and that was fantastic. And it was in a, it was a, a whole mix of different people. One guy was blind, one guy was black, one guy wow. was Asian or something. Everybody was different, wow. but they came together and they got third place. And I I saw them, and I had something else to do. And my son saw the uh, Japanese and he saw the Chinese. And I said, well, there's no way they beat us because these guys were freaks. They were absolute freaks. He said, oh, no, uh, Japan won. China came in second. We came in third. I said, wow, I want to see those. He said they were like watching cartoons. It, wasn't, it didn't leave me like it was physically possible. And uh, so uh, congratulations to third place for the bronze for the uh, gymnastics. Has anybody ever broken uh, the Jamaican record, the Jamaican brother? Anybody ever broken that yet? Or is it still you mean this? Hussein Bolt? Yeah, I don't think I don't no, think, I think so. he still holds the world record. I know what's his name was trying, but I don't think he got. Okay, it. So let me show what let me show what um, Stephen was just talking about with the Olympics, the men's American Team USA gymnastics. I won't play much of it. You see them coming out. He said a dude was blind? Yeah. He can't see without his glasses hardly. Wow. And he said, hold my glasses before he got on the horse. And then when he got up, he said, somebody give me my glasses. <laughs> Which one, Steven? The guy wearing glasses. Oh, okay. The white guy. Uh, Look at this dude. Oh, <laughs> All right. Amazing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he, so he, that is he's hyping it all. Been hyping it for years. <laughs> I don't hear Todd giving more more credit to the brothers. You know, they're doing good. Well, well, why are you pointing that out? Why are you saying that about the white guys? <laughs> <laughs> you must, you must, uh, you must have watched the Boondocks or something. This morning. I'm just, so I'm messing with you're Todd. Just trying to, you're just trying to say okay. brothers. Many times Thank you. We're not gonna like go off. I don't want to go off a topic. We got to keep it moving. So I'm, just just you one. I'm just messing with Todd. That's all. Again, I'm just messing with you. I know. I know. But that's a good story. <laughs> Let me see if I can um, show that. They, we do have some um, actual words. It would be nice to hear from our metal gymnastic um, American athletes. So let's see about this. Hmm. 
sound is that pretty good. That goes very well for Steven. It's a home run. <laughs> His name was Steven? Yeah. Good things come yeah. You wait. The crowd is over. Team USA, they will be on that pedal stand. Yeah, it all came down to him. He had to do his best performance ever. So. <laughs> We're back. Oh, look at that moment, man. Let it play out. Steven Nedarazic, Team USA's pommel horse specialist, nailing his routine to help the U.S. men win bronze. By the way, their first medal as a team in 16 years. The drought is over. It's over. Okay, the guys, they all delivered stellar performances across the board. Asher Hong, Paul Judah, Brody Malone, Stephen, and Frederick Richard. We've got Asher Brody and Stephen with us here. Paul and Frederick have a they're, good excuse. They're very busy. They're preparing for the all-around final tomorrow. Good morning, good everybody. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, just ha you've done something that men's gymnastics has been trying to do for nearly two decades. What does it feel to walk in here with medals around your yeah. necks? completely ecstatic you know like we like you said we ended that drought and we're so excited to be here and you know we hope it's an inspiration for the next generation well the place exploded when you guys won it was incredible and Stephen, we were watching you as you were preparing for the pommel horse and we were watching all these brilliant performances you were in your own world before it happened you, you know everyone's doing their thing you, stay, <laughs> you you were staying focused what do you say to yourself during that time before you got on the horse yeah so in that moment i'm doing my breathing exercises yeah. we always try to keep our heart rate down and through like that five minutes I'm sitting there I am just visualizing my routine over and over again you can see you repeating it you can tell you're like one two three, exactly yeah. that's all I'm doing uh -huh. in my head it's amazing because we can see how strong you are physically you guys are all so mentally strong you have yes. to be Brody I know your first round was not what you wanted to be but then you came back and you nailed did. it and okay we have to stop there because I don't have too much time to show that so um we're going to move on anyone have any comments about the meddling for the united states uh in the olympics i think we have caught up to i'll show it in a minute i think we have caught up to the chinese in meddling yeah i think we're i think we're ahead now yeah we're way ahead of them but i mean yeah. gold yeah gold we may have we caught up with yeah gold we're right around them but overall medals we have more oh yeah <laughs> all praise, right praise the lord Praise the Lord. All right, so let's move on and let me share my screen to this incredible. I know I'm missing something with the Olympics, but we don't have much time because we come on later now. So I've got to move forward. If I remember what it is, I will play it at the end of the show. You miss the girls, the ladies in the Olympic uh, sprinters. <laughs> So I would love to hear that. So that is the Harris Wolf Wolves team coming out in Philadelphia Temple University. I'm surprised we don't so hear today anything. Maybe that we'll I hear announced something. my candidacy, I set out to find a partner who can help build this brighter future. A leader who will help unite our nation and move us forward a fighter for the middle class, a patriot who believes as I do in the extraordinary promise of America. So Pennsylvania, I'm here today because I found such a leader. Okay, let me stop and let's start with you, Keith, the great governor of the state of Minnesota. Well, the great state of Minnesota, the governor, what does that ticket? What are you? What is your question about him? Say again. Um, my question about him was what your thoughts were with that ticket. Oh, with Tim Waltz. Oh, yeah. And well, Kamala Harris. you know, it is what it is. She, she's a progressive. He's a progressive. That's what they want. And uh, she also uh, announced the, uh, I like what Harris said. She said something that was true. And I, and I want to quote, she said, um, she said, uh, America has, America must choose between two different visions, 
one focused on the future, one focused on the past. Well, I don't know how far past she's talking about, but if it's what I think it is, then she's talking about the past when we had, uh, when we actually followed the Constitution, you know, that during the Reagan era, uh, in most cases, we did follow the Constitution. And uh, it's important that we adopt the principles of our Declaration of Independence okay. and follow that. Now, future means it's very dark. The future is going to be darker and darker and darker. It's not going to be lighter and brighter because they okay, have a so different Keith, I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to so stop you there because all you're doing is saying things based on words, light, dark, future, past. I want some specific policies, some specific reasons why you think these things are going to occur. For example, well, okay. you, you didn't could say, I think Vice President Harris's policy on climate control is going to be whatever, and that's why it's going to be a dark future as opposed to a bright one. You have well, to say okay. what it is about uh, the dark or the bright that you're referring to. Okay, I'll start with immigration. I'll change that. Uh, okay. Her policy on immigration. She never visited the border, and uh, she never strengthened the immigration. It was in her. It was she was the immigration czar, czar, and yet she did nothing about immigration. And uh, the uh, illegals kept pouring over the border even more under her watch. So she did nothing about that. So that is what okay. I'll just focus on. All right. So just a minute before I go to Aguna, because he's biting at the bits, I want to play this so you can hear what Governor Waltz, Waltz has to say. Let me go back. All right. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Well, you were gone <laughs> while you were off playing hockey, Todd. Yeah. Or whatever it is you play when you turn your camera off. Yes. We were discussing issues. Wow. Thank you, Philadelphia. Thank you, Madam Vice President, for the trust you put in me. Thank you, Madam Vice President, President for so. the trust you put in me. Thank you for bringing so. back the joy. Thank you for bringing back the joy. Minnesota's strength comes from our values, our commitment to working together, to seeing past our differences, to always being willing to lend a helping hand. Those are the same values I learned on the family farm and tried to instill in my students. I took it to Congress and to the state capitol, and now Vice President Harris and I are running to take those very values to the White House. Okay, Aduna. Your talk on Vice President Harris's pick as Gov Governor Waltz as uh, her future hopeful vice president. Yeah, it was a safe pick for her. Um, she wanted someone that was relatable, right? So he came across, I know they keep using the word coach. And after listening to him, I can see why she picked him. I mean, he was, you know, he's like a normal guy. He's like he's a guy you'd run into on at, at the grocery store. But I think it's interesting what Keith just pointed out about this this whole concept of a border czar that the right wings and people are trying to, you know, they're trying to brand Kamala as this border czar or something like that. And it was interesting because I remember the Republicans impeaching Homeland Security, you know, director because of the border crossing. Why didn't they impeach her? Um, and why didn't they pass the bipartisan legislation that the Republicans crafted back in March? And by the way, border crossings are down. Um, statistically over the last four months. So there's some things that have worked. So the, this just goes to show you how the Trump tra campaign and even those on the right are struggling to try to define this candidacy. Now, I will say this. I thought Shapiro was going to be the pick because of the battleground state. I think most um, most analysts and political analysts were thinking Shapiro because of you know his ties to Pennsylvania and because he's a great orator. I mean, he, he, he knows how to rile up the crowd. But Again, you know, I think this Walt candidate was a safe pick. He's from Minnesota. That blue wall they're trying to maintain, uh, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, is one of those things where he can talk to the kitchen table issues. 
And if you look at Walsh and J.D. Vance and how they talk and how they try to connect with the audience and connect with people, it's like night and day almost. So, I mean, I think it's going to be a problem in the sense of, you know, this branding and this name calling and all the negative stuff that, you know, that the Trump campaign keeps pushing. Now you're seeing Kamala Harris and Waltz with this positive, let's move forward. And I, you heard Keith say, oh, well, he's a progressive. You know, it's only the Republicans that have labeled being progress as a negative thing. You know, this progressive, well, he's going to wear that as a badge of honor because what's going to happen is when you look at his record, yeah, I'm a progressive because I want to feed children. I want, I'm a progressive because I want background checks, which everybody in the state of Minnesota wanted at the time. And by the way, they reelected me because of the things that I did. So it's going to be hard to kind of label this guy in, you know, in contrast to J.D. Vance, who is very awkward. And I mean, he was even trying to stalk Kamala Harris's plane on the tarmac. I mean, it's just some weird stuff coming out about this guy. So anyway, but as you can see, same old talking points. Borders are Migration is down. I mean, I'm still waiting for this caravan to arrive that Trump was talking about in the midterms, which ended up costing the Republicans. So this fear mongering tactics, you're going to hear it on this show tonight. That stuff is just going to be tired and not work in the long term. I'm sure that's very interesting. There was there was ten sure, million people that sure came through to unvetted. Do you know where your caravan was that you talked about? That was the ten million people that came up through our border with well, uh, sorry, Kamaya I Harris. Talking. I was on mute. I'm sorry. I was talking. I was on mute. I said, Stephen, she seems to have a momentum going. No. She started out of the box with a, a huge momentum, raising a lot of money, as we talked about. Now she continues <laughs> to raise money. She continues to have people volunteer for her campaign. And she is moving ahead in the polls against former President Bush. Bush. What's going to what will take her over that edge into the presidency? President Bush. I mean, President, uh, tr former President Trump. I was thinking right. former presidents. No, what this is what has happened now. The momentum has changed. She had a she had a little bit of a period where everybody was loving her because it wasn't Joe Biden anymore. They didn't have to worry about cleaning up somebody's mess that they that they did on in, on the on the, on the, on, the, on the ground. They didn't have to worry about that. They had somebody good, and then Donald Trump picked somebody that people like Aguna could say, "Oh, he's weird." Everybody's gonna say he's weird. There's something wrong with him because he wants people to be married and have good lives and love God or whatever. He's a weird person. But, and they said he was the worst pick that it was ever for vice president, was ever picked. Is Donald Trump made the biggest mistake. And then Kamala Harris said, hold my beer. And she just picked the worst guy ever. I don't think these people want to win the presidency. I, I, I'm honestly mean, I'm not joking at all. I really don't think they want to win. And you can tell by how she took, took him. He is a horrible human being. He is a horrible person. And all of it's going to come out. Maybe you haven't heard it yet. Maybe you have. But he's a real bad guy. And they have just, just uh, torpedoed themselves. With, yeah, he's a really bad guy. He's got to. He, ran, he, was, he, was in a, he was in a National Guard unit. And he said, uh, uh, got the unit ready. And they were going to uh, Afghanistan, I believe. And then at the last minute, he took off. He said, I quit. They demoted him. And uh, so he. Uh, He's, fact, but he also fact, said fact, that he that fact, he carried fact, he that he carried fact, guns fact, in war. He didn't carry fact, a gun in war. Fact, this guy's a real. That's one thing he did. He's a really horrible guy. And the other thing he did was when Minnesota was burning down, he didn't he, call he didn't call the National Guard. The Aguna knows what I'm going to say about this guy's the truth, and you don't want me to tell it. You don't want me to tell the truth. Generally, if I was you, I would have been muted by now. If I was you, I would have been muted. Folks, read the comments. Wait, thank you. See, if I was you. Steven. So, so thank you, Stephen. If you look at the screen, Aguna has gone on and made comments, and he said, "Ask Stephen his source. What is your source for this information you're you're telling us?" The right people now? who served with him when he was in the military are pissed what off are at him, names? and they're talking about him, huh? What are their names? Manny, Mo, and Jack. Google oh, it. Okay. okay. Google it. You think I'm lying? <laughs> 
You think it's not the truth? How would why would I know? Why would I have their names in front of me? That does that's a stupid <laughs> question. That's a real <laughs> stupid <laughs> question. No yeah, that's no. Okay, I have the facts. I have the facts because the guys who are in his platoon are are the bitching guy. about him, and that's a fact. The that's guy. a fact. The fact that I don't have their names, it doesn't matter. It what matters I said is true, and it would hold up in court. Uh, well, I don't will. have to know their name. That's a okay. stupid okay. question. Right. Steven, yeah, let me, this let guy me is a piece of garbage man, all the way around. Man. When Stay Minnesota man. had their riots, he didn't call out the National know, Guard. Man, no, this guy's got a lot of baggage, and I don't think the left wants to win. And he's not a progressive. Okay, he's a Marxist communist. And he wants to cut let, off let, little children's genitalia. Received his order. The, 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 okay. the guard received their orders in May. So it's almost two months after he left that they received those orders. No, it's not true. Well, people, I mean, people, are, people are pissed at it. No, and he got out. Talk about military records when you got Donald Trump, Mr. Bonespur. No, no, don't, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, to, don't go to Donald don't, Trump. Don't, don't, Stay don't, right don't here, Guna. Don't, 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 don't go to Donald Trump. Stay right here. I don't care what Donald Trump did. Hey, if you know what Donald Trump did, you know what he did. Let's talk about what this boy did. Let's talk about what he did or what he didn't do. You don't know your source. You don't know the details. We are. Donald Trump's been vetted. You need to, you know what, you know this guy's a bad guy. He's a felon. Yeah, he's been vetted as a felon. He's been impeached twice. They keep ignoring me. We're going to bring in Bogo. I can't read the last name. Welcome to Sporlitics, where sports and politics mix and mingle. What's your comment, Bogo or Bogo, Lizzie? Bag is on. So, First things first, I want to commend Aguna on a great breakdown of this whole situation. Uh, once again, Aguna is taking all the good points. Uh, I would like to find him or something for the show. Uh, you can't use all the good points, sir. I need time too. Now, the thing about like like Waltz in this whole situation, like Stephen got the timeline wrong where he said uh, Waltz was first and then Vance, when in actuality, Vance came first at the Republican convention and things started to kind of like Trump was on a high. He had just beaten up Biden. Uh, he survived the shooting and everything looked up. It looked like a landslide. And then next thing you know, the rugs pulled from underneath him. Now he has a different opponent. And this opponent has, you know, just, in, I mean, just a, a outpouring of enthusiasm across the country. And it looks like they're just hitting all the right notes. She brings in this guy, Waltz, has a stellar record as a former military man, former football coach. He's the most Midwest Western corny dude you would ever want to meet, like a real family man, likable type guy. Like, I don't like see any issues with him. And he's pretty good on the microphone as we seen yesterday. But kind of getting to the downsides, because I think Aguna gave all the good. So the downside is ability to draw crowds and kind of make this rush till November has allowed Kamala not to have to be scrutinized and do one-on-one -on -one long form interviews and be pressed on her positions. So because of that, she's kind of skating. So she's getting away with so something that normally you're not able to get away with at this point in the cycle. And then the other part is, think about what her, her major positions are gonna be. We don't know yet because she doesn't have to commit because right now they're riding the wave, trying to hit as many states as they can. And ultimately this serves as keeping her stuff close to the vest. So Trump and company don't have much to attack. So it serves two purposes. So there, there's a downside to all of it. But as far as if you're the Tim, if you're the DNC or the Dems, you're looking at this like we thought we were going to lose the most winnable election ever, and now everything's going our way. Like they're just throwing sevens, and it's just landing everywhere. And then on the other side, Trump's just come off the campaign trail. We don't know why. J.D. Vance appears not good enough on the microphone to be able to be a stand-in for Trump and appears to be an anchor pulling Trump down more than anything. So, yeah, this is a really fascinating situation. Like, there's going to be so many books written about this time that we're living in where we saw all of this happen in real time in a month. This this fight that was supposed to be it's Biden, not even Trump been a month. Into this. It's actually been okay. like two and a half weeks. Okay, and, okay, and, let him finish. And, why are you cutting him off? But I, I thought that's, he was finishing. That's even more amazing. Yeah, that's even more amazing that it hasn't been a month. So thanks for the correction, but yeah, cousin Ty, I but, agree. But, but she she would have cut Stephen off. But to the point, <laughs> if, if her knock is going to be 
she doesn't do interviews because I've heard that come up. Like, yo, she's not, she's afraid. One thing they're trying to paint it is she's afraid to do interviews. She hasn't do, done interviews. If that's what yes. you have to say about her candidacy, right? At this point, you have to attack her on not being able to do one on one interviews with the media that you've painted as bad this whole, your whole campaign and everything right. like that. You're, you're digging, <laughs> it's like a ditch. It's like, it's like, it's almost like, it, I know they live on hypocrisy, but. At the end of the day, oh, she's bad because she's scared to do interviews. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure okay. they're going to do interviews. It's just, I mean, right. again, it's only two weeks. So no old. transparency with you, right? No transparency. There. Where is transparency? She has, she has, she has a press corps on the plane where she talks. Yeah, to her, right. Right. So yeah. I mean, like, what would you say? You really want Donald Trump doing interviews? I mean, yes. What does he Excuse say? Me. He does Excuse all the time. Excuse me, cousin Todd. Let me get yeah. cousin Todd in here. Cousin yeah. Todd. Yeah, yeah. Now, how's that working out? It's great. He does great interviews. Sure. Yeah, right. yeah, on Fox. On Fox. He does, no, he does. He did a great Fox. interview. Oh, oh. So. Cousin Todd. Cousin Todd. He does great okay. interviews. Okay. National Black Journal. Laguna. So. <laughs> MBJ is a I great interview. This was a great pick, uh, her picking Waltz. <laughs> and I don't, uh, I didn't necessarily want her to pick um, uh, Pennsylvania Governor. Because Shapiro, because um, he's a Jew. Say what? Because he's a Jew. Oh, so I didn't necessarily want him uh, to run because white people don't like Jews, and so I thought that would be a, a stress on the ticket. Wow! Yeah, That's crazy. You mean white liberals? No, white racists. They're the ones they protesting Jews. against the Jews. They said the Jews will not replace us. Remember that? And they so were they were plants. They were they were not real like. people. So real people on. like me don't walk around with torches. Can, he, can he get his time in? Why do we have to listen to you? Let him get his time. So that's why I was afraid for her to pick Shapiro, um, because white racists are alive and well, and they're Trump supporters. So I didn't know how well uh, she would do with him on the ticket. Uh, this guy is. Uh, sort of white bread uh, uh, and just what she needed. Just a basic white guy, rural, uh, nice, uh, intelligent, um, and can speak flat. You know, he you don't, when he speaks, he's not talking over your head. He doesn't sound like a politician. And I think that'll serve her well. The, okay. the, me me the memes this. online said he looks like the old white uncle who comes in a restaurant and says, how'd, they let, how'd you get in here? Like one of them type of white yeah. guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, good natured dude, man. Like right. we all have friends like that. Like mm -hmm. old, old school white dude. Yeah. It was a good pick. It was a good pick because uh, I like things that he says. Like, um, uh, yeah, I'm evil because I'm going to feed the children in my state. Free breakfast when you go to school so you can That's learn. That's progressive. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's super liberal feeding that's kids, feeding telling, children. You force people telling the government to stay out your medical history. That's right. Now you life. force these girls to have these babies because no abortion, and then starve them to death. Oh my god! How gosh. you like that? The mm -hmm. idea of the government leaving you alone. My God. Yeah. All right. So let that? me let me play well, this, please. That. Let me play this. Let me play this. Uh, why is this not playing? Well, you probably have an Obama phone, yeah. and it really doesn't work in situations like this. Right. Okay. Let me but go back. And, you know, we had a little lie. technical difficulty at the beginning of the show. Uh, okay. Here we are. Here we go. Well, it's true. These guys are just it weird. Is. And, it and is. you know, they're, they're running for he man. It's true. These guys are just weird. And, and it is. you know, they're running for he man women haters club or something. That's what they go at. That's not what people are interested in. Well, they're the weird ones. And if you've ever seen her with the laugh and everything else, that's a weird deal going on there. She's, they're the weird ones. Nobody's ever called me weird. I'm a lot of things, but weird I'm not. Let's talk about the things that are weird. You think it's weird that Democrats want to put sexually explicit books in toddlers' libraries. We think it's weird that the far left wants to allow biological males to beat the living crap out of women in boxing. Kamala Harris comes to Atlanta 
and talks with a fake southern accent, even though she grew up in Canada, you can't make it up. That's pretty weird. There you All go. right, comment to that, Stephen. All right. right. Well, I mean, that what's weird is this uh, governor walls or balls or whatever he wants to cut mm -hmm. off. He's allowing children to have uh, sexual work done on them without okay. parental consent. Okay, wait That's a minute. Stop passed. right there. That's what he Stop passed right in there. his state. Stop right there. Stop right there. What are you That's talking okay. about? We will not talk about stuff like that without some sort of, you got to have some sort of foundation or some sort the of The governor signed, signed in, signed in that, they, that children. the children do not, the you children do not have to have to children. talk They're to their minors. parents. You can't do that. You have to have some sort of. Do you have something to give me that I can show? He signed it into law. It's a law. He signed so it into law. law. I'm sorry, okay. y'all are ignorant to what's going on. I'm no. sorry this law. man's been around a couple oh, days, and y'all are so crazy. ignorant because all you do is watch the view, and you have no idea what's going on. The view is not going to tell you the truth. They haven't up until this point. Okay. You know nothing okay. about what's going on. Okay. So I say crap on this show, and then I have to go back later and show Stacy. Stacy, this is what I was talking about every time. Because y'all don't do your homework. What are y'all doing that y'all don't know anything about this governor? Any of y'all. You're pathetic. All of y'all are pathetic. You don't know what's going on. Oh, I got Keith those with Keith. Don't you know about this governor? Don't you know about him? Don't you yeah. know he didn't? He didn't call the National Guard when the when, his, when everything was burned up. And his yeah. wife said, the governor's wife said, she loved the smell of the burning tires so much that she kept oh, the windows up in her house. He heard this she the left the windows up because she loved it because they were oh, so happy God. that people were burning businesses yeah. down. Eight, yeah. About 80 businesses burnt down in really Minnesota okay. and only 20% okay. 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 of them okay. came okay. back. Okay. And the governor and his wife Thanks. got off on it. They yeah, got off on it. Stacey, Find yeah, out what's going Stacey, on, people, because you're making me Stacey, sick with your Stacey, ignorance. Stacey, 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 Stacey. You're either Stacey, ignorant Stacey, or y'all are lying. Stacey, 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 How do you Stacey, not Stacey, know Stacey, what's going on? You'll make me sick. Make make fun of us all you want. We know what the hell is going on. Y'all don't know crap. He got reelected. He got reelected. That is the trans. I think he's talking about the trans, the way he said it. That, that trans thing so was I wrong, it though. That was... And it's called the Trans <laughs> Refuge Bill. And I'm looking that up right now um, so that we can share that with you all. Okay. Um, and but just for the record, Stacy, at the 45 minute mark, because I had a bet on this, I knew Stephen was going to have a meltdown. You know, usually it's right around the 45 minute mark, but he, he was a little bit earlier this time, but nonetheless, yeah. he did it. So. Kudos okay. to Stephen. And then Stacy has to, because she tells me to stop talking, and she'll speed Nas up, but she won't stop Stephen. Now, wait. This is what now, I'm going to say. Stephen doesn't say that. Stephen claims that I cut him off. Stephen claims I cut him off. Okay. And now right. you're saying right. I don't. Well, 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 she, she couldn't right. cut me off then because it was yeah, radio gold. It was gold. She couldn't cut me off then. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the topics instead of, you know, the mental All right, so we're going back to the topic. This is why and this is called, all the problems. If you look at my I thought screen, you, look at the screen, please. Excuse me. Stop talking. Thank you. Okay, thank Governor, you. Governor, Walls, Governor Walls in March 2023 issued an executive order protecting trans patients ability to receive medical care that helps them live according to their gender identity. The order shields patients, parents, and providers from punishment by other states for seeking and delivering such care. I don't know where Stephen's getting some other ideas from, but that- Yeah, it's something else good. besides that. That's one thing, oh, Stacey, okay. but it's something else besides yeah. that. And I'll show it to you yeah. after the show because I don't have I don't have <laughs> access to a computer right now. Right on, buddy. We believe you. Okay. You calling me a liar? <laughs> I mean, we have the evidence. We do there. All I mean, you're saying no, that's not the evidence. The evidence right. is they're yeah. letting kids. Yeah. They're yeah. letting yeah. kids. They're yeah. doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. If you don't let your kid do what they want, yeah. the, 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 the state will take okay. your kid. If you don't on. allow your kid to get what on. they want, the state that will take your kid. Everything. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. That clears it all up. Thank you. If the kids want to change their sex, you have no say in it as a parent. Oh, so you know, it's a matter of privacy. Aguna. You have no oh, say of it when you're a parent. These are children. 
again. Just, just, is it a matter of just privacy eating or what time are we on each other? Show? Okay, can I'm sorry. Can we I'm move sorry. on or get back okay. to the original topic? Like, this is don't want to. Can we get I'm, you I'm involved in the series? I'm tired of beating up on Steven. Let's go on to the other. Ain't nobody touched me yet. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. Get yeah. Buddy, get roasted. <laughs> it's too easy. Yes, yeah. Steve, we're with you. Let's go. I know it's hard for people to keep up because that's not the question she asked him. She asked him a simple question and it turned to a tirade. Can we get back to your question or the next question? Like anything? We're going to go to the Stacey next question. Thank you. I was setting it up. Uh, Representative My Corey bad. Bush lost her primary. And uh, let's see what she had to say. The second time this year, a member of the progressive Democratic congressional group known as the Squad lost a primary election. Missouri Representative Cory Bush was defeated yesterday by St. Louis prosecutor Wesley Bell. It was just one of a handful of primary races across the country that we were watching last night in states including Michigan, Missouri, Kansas, and Washington. CBS News political reporter Hunter Whittle joins us now with more on this story. Uh, Hunter, thanks so much for helping us break this down. So this is now the second member of the squad to lose re-election. Explain why. Good morning. It's good to be with you. This Cory Bush primary for Representative Bush, it was an interesting dynamic because while this obviously mimics the loss that you mentioned for Representative Jamal Bowman in New York uh, a few weeks back, Representative Bush had some other struggles as well. CBS News had reported that she uh, was under investigation by the Department of Justice for uh, potential you know, uh, misuse of, per of funds for uh, personal security. That was a big factor here, potentially. And also, she has obviously voted, you know, against Democrats at key times. I'll also note, uh, millions were spent trying to defeat her in this primary by a group linked to the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. That's hard to not see as a factor in the loss that we uh, saw last night. Mm, interesting. And Tuesday night also solidified the Senate race in Michigan in November as three-term Democratic Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin well, now face Trump-backed former Representative Mike Rogers. How might this matchup shake out? You can't overstate how critical Michigan is likely to be in this November general election, because not only do you have the Senate race uh, where, you know, current uh, Democratic Senator Debbie Stabenow is retiring, and this is a seat that is absolutely crucial to Democrats trying to maintain their Senate majority, their very narrow Senate majority in the chamber. But Michigan is also home to 15 electoral votes. Those votes are likely to be key in the presidential election. So not only do you have control of the Senate at risk, you also have the potential impact of what this could mean in the presidential election mm -hmm. for both Trump and uh, Vice President Harris. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, also in Washington, Representative Dan Newhouse, who was one of the 10 House Republicans who voted to impeach Donald Trump, uh, was fighting to hold on to his seat in the state's fourth congressional district. Break down what's happening there. Congressman Newhouse is one of the final Republicans left in the U.S. House who voted to impeach Donald Trump after the January 6th Capitol attack. Most others have either retired or lost primaries in the past. This race is fascinating because Washington state has a primary system that means the top two advance the general election, regardless of whether Democrat, Republican, independent, whatever you like. So this is a race where uh, Donald Trump actually favored two candidates against Newhouse. Um, and obviously that's a challenge. Now, it doesn't sound like there's a result in this race yet, but Newhouse is one of those final Republicans left who actually challenged Donald Trump after Jan 6, said, hey, I'm holding you accountable uh, with his vote. And obviously that's something that Trump has been very determined to try and oust him. Okay, lots to follow here. Hunter, thank you. Uh, Stacey, you're still on mute. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. Keith, I want to talk about how the down ballot races are being affected, even as we see this once in a lifetime showing by the vice president. And you see there are losses by the progressive uh, uh, Congress members in the House and Senate in their primaries. How do you think that's going to play out as the Democrats try to win the presidency and they want to actually have control of the House and the Senate because Vice President Harris did say in Philadelphia she wants to sign the Voting Rights Act bill. In order to do that, she's got to have either a deal with the House and the Senate or she's got to have the House and the Senate Democratic. Keith. Uh, I am so sick and tired of hearing about this Voting Rights Act bill. I mean, what? You know, 
You're black. Yep. How could yes. you be sick of it? Because didn't you fight our, for it? How old are you? Uh, leave leave him alone, Todd. Don't extend his time. Let's let him finish. Let him bury time. himself. <laughs> Go ahead, the, right, the right of citizens, uh, section one. This is Amendment 15. It says the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. That's enough for me. Simple so as you that. Thank you. Marbles cousin Todd. Leave, alone. leave them alone, Todd. Leave them alone. Go oh ahead, Cousin God. Todd. Okay, I'll just uh, use my time to say how ridiculous that was and how many people died because they could not vote and they were trying to vote. What did I just read? <clears throat> well, unfortunately, in Mississippi, they didn't read that. When yeah, they, well, they don't need another people law. Like you in the head. And what makes you think a new vote? law is going to stop it? What makes you think a new law is going to change it? If you okay, think it's thank that you. Bad Aguna, now, Aguna, Aguna. I think, you know, I do think Keith uh, raises an interesting point. He's saying oh that my it's, already, gosh. it's already in the Constitution, so why should you have any protection, any additional protections? Because it's already in the Constitution. The problem is, what we know from the Black Code and all these other things, that states have taken liberties to circumvent certain things and interpret the Constitution differently. Hence why we had this problem to begin with, right? So now that you're starting to roll back things and push things back to the states who screwed it up to begin with, I think, you know, there needs to be certain protections or certain language around um, protecting people's rights to vote. And right? why do we have civil rights, Aguna and Keith? Why do you have civil rights? <laughs> Look out, Aguna. Because He's coming the Constitution you. took care of that, didn't it? No, no, I did not. What, what did I just say? Did you not hear what I just said? That, that's I'm making this point for dumb Keith, but you're trying to date him. So I'm, I'm not trying to date him. I'm saying he's trying to say the Constitution was good enough, and I'm saying, well, it wasn't enforceable based and on what they doing. It, 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 it was so unenforceable they had to come up with a new law just Thank you. for you, Thank you. Stephen. Stephen, the same uh -huh. question to you. What's the question, Stacy? Oh, gosh. Let, I'll give it to you. Do we need the civil rights law or is the Constitution enough? That wasn't the question, but Todd's going to make one up. Go ahead, Stephen. <laughs> um, since I got a, a really bad question, I was just going to ask anybody if they've heard anything lately about the shooter that shot Donald Trump and killed a man and injured somebody else. Have, wait, but have we heard anything else about him? I mean, he's 20 years old. He's got... He he has a, he has no Facebook page. He has no nothing nothing yeah. in the media. Nothing. I, 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 how many twenty year olds do, do you know that 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 don't have any I, any I, record I, of being I, in I, social I, media? They don't have a social media. Are we, we're being, they're covering are you, this up. This they're covering question? it up and they're keeping us uh, distracted. Uh, we okay. need to know what happened. But you know what? We don't know what happened with JFK because they won't release that either. Okay. So this is your okay. this is a Thank government you. that's in charge right Bogo. now that does this. Bogo, what is your name on here? Bogo, what? Thank you, Stephen. We do need to Bogo go go. He's Bogo uh, go go. Bag of za. Bag of za. I'm sorry, I couldn't read that without my glasses. Bag of rock. Bag of za. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So answering the first part of your question, which some people seem to have forgotten or just ignored. Uh, we talked about Kamala's ability after, if she's able to win, her ability to get certain things passed, uh, where you're saying some of these progressives are being uh, knocked out of the races. So going back to Cori Bush, yeah, if, if you take a position that is pro-Gaza, pro-Palestinian people, then you're going to have to deal with a foreign entity called APAC that is going to put so much money into your, into your race that they try to uh, push you out. And they've been successful oh, wait a twice. Minute, oh, wait a minute. But wait a minute, stop right there. They were, she was pushed out by a gentleman who told who ran for the Senate position, lost it, and told her that he would not run against her. He ended up running against her. So and what? Beat her. I can't so believe what? True, true, but who it was really didn't matter because any stand in uh that could, you know, roll his R's and cross his T's was gonna be able to win with the super PAC money and all of the negative ads that they put out against her. So she was always going to lose. But bigger point, think about this. 
even if they do lose a few members of the House and Senate, if she's able to win this election, we have to think about a whole new uh, functioning of government because that would mean Donald Trump has lost two of three election cycles. And at that point, all of his power over the Republican Party, where he can say, hey, you guys better not vote for this or we're going to do this, all of that goes away. And we go back right. to the days of where we can actually have bipartisanship because you'd have a Republican Party where the moderates within the party and also some of the even old guard Republicans would have a much bigger voice at that point because, look. No Bush at the convention. I, what, what convention I, I, do you hold, know hold, of that doesn't have a Bush? Hold on, hold on, because I, I think people need to understand this. If Trump loses this election, MAGA is dead because he can't run again. He's too old. And at that point, you've lost two out of three elections. So you won't even be able to get the financial backing to do it again. So this is do or die for Trump. This is now or never for him. And again, if you're the Dems, you're looking at it and saying, we'd much rather deal with old school Republicans and people who we see as, you know, similar partners in functioning <laughs> as opposed to people who are, you know, put in just to no. stall and stop everything. So that's a whole different world. And Kamala or whoever the Dem representative would be, uh, yeah, you have much different options than we've seen since 2008. That's a different party. MAGA is more than just one man. MAGA is a movement. It's not Donald Trump. It's an entire movement. Yeah. If, Do uh -huh. if Donald goes down, the, the movement does not stop. That's that's silly. Okay, so how many sure you believe that back by Trump? one re-election in this past election cycle. You mean 2020? Was one. Wasn't it one? <laughs> we talking about 2020? Exactly. What movement are you talking about? This is a cult. It's not a movement. This is a not cult. a This is what y'all call it as a cult. It's a movement. Yeah, you can call it a, you can call it a, can, a jar of peanut butter. You can call it a jar of peanut butter as well as you call it a cult. No, you know what that you know what cult doesn't have any significance over yeah, us. This is a this is a MAGA movement that's more than just one person. It's not going to stop with him. Okay, so so what are the principles of the movement? Smaller government uh, uh, more power to the people. Huh? That's that's the purpose of this. It always has been. This is this is how the Republican Party is supposed to be. This is a well, Republican Party that actually had balls enough to go in and free the slaves. That's the Republican Party we have now. The Republican Party we used to have was would capitulate to the Democrats, and y'all call it bipartisanism. It wasn't. We would have to capitulate to y'all, and you would get everything you want. That ain't the party we want. I know you want that party. We want you want that's you want Republicans happened. like a Guna. You want Republicans like a Guna, but you ain't gonna have that no more because it's Smart more than just Trump. People. It's a real movement. It's a movement that includes everybody. This is why black Woo! people are coming over to this movement because we're the huge tent. We don't we're use anybody. We don't use it. We don't tell anybody lies and then not 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 help them out. Donald Trump, when he was president, he said what he was going to do and he did it. And and and, and when Biden was in office, he he did everything was a is a mess. And Harris is tied up in this mess. And she was the southern border czar. In the real world, Donald Trump should win forty nine to fifty states. He said that the first time. Y'all are just so encumbered by your own. Smell of your farts or something, man. Y'all are just y'all can't get y'all can't get a thought in your head that's right. It's okay. You're not even thinking. This is a movement. This is the people of America. Your side let how many millions into our country? You you let millions into our country to hurt us. They say your side hurts us. Your side, my side. I'm on the side yeah. of America. Support, I don't raising worries, group. the economy may be headed for a recession, and the Fed could have waited too long to start cutting interest rates. The Dow dropping more than 600 points on Friday, its worst day since May. The S&P had its worst week since April. The selling spreading to Asia overnight. Japan's Nikkei index tumbling 12 percent, its worst day since the stock market crashed back in October of 87. European markets are also red across the board. Half of credit card holders are carrying debt month to month, the highest figure in more than four years. A new bank rate survey finds 60 percent of those with credit card debt have been in that state for at least a year. More than a third say inflation has been made worse uh, while uh, they made, made their burden worse, while a third cite high interest rates. CrowdStrike says it shouldn't be blamed for Delta Airlines flight disruptions following last month's global tech outage. Delta CEO says the outage cost. The OK, let me stop there. I want to talk about that stock market crash last week. Uh, we lost somebody. Oh, we lost Keith. I want to talk we, about that stock we, market we, we crash. Had, last we, week. That's actually a game. 
had, a, we, 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 had real, we had space for a real conversation and we had to listen to this nutter just yell off nonsense for three minutes and it just killed and all the air in the room like, allowed it. Was, like man. it kills all the lines he, he no, said man. Okay. Is a movie. let's he talk about the stock market man. crash oh, please stock market um, crash. okay let's go ahead yes let's go. please go ahead aguna talk let's about the go. stock market crash okay this an analogy the stock market is like a spoiled kid right so as soon as you don't pay it attention it's going to act up right the fed said they held the rates steady because of inflation right they didn't lower the rates they held them steady so how did the market react they got upset the, the fed is already going to lower interest rates in september but what you see happening is greed companies are cashing in and they're trying to future and project and they're trying to a lot of you look at a lot of the stocks that set that were set off were tech stocks bitcoin Oh, I wonder who contributed to the J.D. Vance campaign. But at the end of the day, it's about them shorting themselves so they can project and, and have future profits in the next quarter. So those things happen. I mean, this is I mean, I think it dropped a thousand points the other day. If you look even in 2021, back in during 2018, it dropped higher than that. And what happened no. the very next week, it jumped right back up. The stock markets do this all the time. And they already know the feds are going to lower interest rates. So what do you do? You hedge your bet. You sell off. And then as soon as they lower the rates, you get future gains. So you make even more money. The stock market is not a full indication of how the whole economy is going to go. It's a matter of corporation fudging the books to make more money. So, yes, they were mad that the feds didn't drop interest rates, but they know that the feds will. So what do they do? They try to press the issue by selling off and, get, and showing volatility. This is not, I'm, at the end of the day, of for those that. of us who it's a short and long-term game, uh, you're going to make the gains back up. Even today, there were certain sectors that already recovered. Also, you got to look at what was going on in Japan. They did, had something very similar in which they lowered interest rates. They're fighting off inflation and a lot of companies here invested in Japan. So some of their future earnings impacted our economy as a global economy. So there's a lot of factors here. But at the end of the day, nothing that the president or anybody else can do is going to stop the market That's from making happen. money. They're going to make money regardless. They're going to make you sweat. They're going to make all. But rich people make money regardless. Right. So there's no way that any president is going to stop or impact the market other than rich people making money. So that's what people got to understand. It's a long-term game here. So if somebody comes on here and says, this is the biggest drop in history, it's the biggest drop since 2022, right? So what was the biggest drop before then in 2018? It, it was bigger than right? yeah. Biggest, biggest drop impact. ever. Google, yeah. biggest, all right? Biggest, you biggest drop ever. March, and, and, and anybody else want to comment on March, that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how, Stacey, how, I'll how just say that. The uh, stock market drop. I want to say something. Hold, hold, hold on, Stacey. And I want to say something, that, too. Another thing to add, we, we, have to, we have to really recognize this, especially in the tech sector, as Aguna kind of alluded to, the amount of rug pulling that happens in today's day and age is astounding because we have so many retail investors, AKA regular people who get on YouTube, find their favorite guy and they follow the tips of that guy. Problem is the other people who are basically watching them make their small investments, they're using complicated algorithms, like really sophisticated stuff. And they just play these guys for a sucker every time. So go to social media and read about a new coin that's coming out you'll see all these regular working Joes put their you money into Bitcoin. the coin. Well, no, I'm, I'm talking about any, any form in, in the crypto space. There's, there's a million of them. They'll, they'll put their regular hard earned money into this. And then the people will let them pile it up and then sure. just pull the rug out from underneath them. And they do it on a daily basis. And then you see on social media, a million retail investors yelling at some celebrity who uh, advertised the coin, and that was why they invested in it. Hulk Hogan did it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what's the girl from Australia? Iggy Azalea did it a couple of weeks before that. Like, people are using star power and their fans and abusing them in a market where they don't understand what's going on. And as far as the Fed, like, understand, Aguna broke that down perfectly. But understand one thing about the Fed, man. This goes back to Aguna saying they're going to make money regardless. The Fed has two crude tools to try to manage things. And those two crude tools, it's just not enough. There's really never going to be enough. 
to be able to like stop the volatility because the problem is if you try to slow volatility too much you end up putting a ceiling on earnings and at that point you're you're shrinking your pot as far as gdp wealth and everything else so it's a complicated situation but there is no easy a answer hey the fed pushed the button therefore like no it doesn't work like that but like i said before and i want to emphasize this crypto in order for crypto to be successful you got to devalue the dollar okay so you got to be very careful and you got to think about it when you when you you look at yeah i mean for because why would you trade in crypto if the dollar if the dollar has higher value you would keep your money in the dollar if you look at and when you this when you go to you start talking about regulation, okay, if you deregulate crypto and everybody starts moving their money and their assets over, no, we're not crypto, saying deregulate it. No, it that's be, Donald it Trump will be under a JD Trump administration. Yeah, okay, yeah right. Todd, Todd loves Todd loves crypto. He invests in crypto. You know, he, uh, he loves. Todd, it. you're a brave man, but you still, I mean, but you still the dollar is the world currency. That's yeah, for now, is. for now, but they're trying to do away with it. If it shifts to crypto, if you're not and that's when people need to worry about their 401ks and stuff like that. No, no, but but, but, but could, could it be board. that that, that they're not, that they're actually worried about her policies because she spiked, she spiked no, for, no, for a little no, while when she no, came. No, could no, they no. be worried about her policies, businesses? No, because you no, know, no. with Donald Trump, the business, the big businesses could do better with Trump, no, with taxes and everything. Her policies will hurt business. During during what Biden, policy? a lot of businesses have shut down, and maybe a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of them are getting what spooked policy? because they think there's a chance that Harris could win, and they what want to policy? get out before that happens. Environmental. That's a possibility Aguna, too. Aguna, Aguna, let me let me okay. address this first. I'm, I'm first, saying first, we have to worry about her policy. Aguna, 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 policy Aguna, exactly. Environmental policy. Exactly. Let, let let me address this first, Aguna. So first thing first, don't give credit to a president for a spike. And you don't give blame to a president for a decline. Right, like you neither one you give her has for that. anything to do with the president. So no, it yeah, it, it does. It does. Job dude, market, dude. any of it, dude, it dude, it does. To do with them, we're talking. If about they don't, if they don't want to get taxed okay, too much. What's the second point? Okay, stop. What's the second point? God damn, man! Trump will cut taxes. Blogger, blogger. What's your name? What's the second point? On who? Oh my God. Exactly. He doesn't on the people who own businesses. Okay. On the people no. who own businesses. That's why they him. like Harris Trump more. Texas too. Hey, Trump, 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 Trump. I was waiting for no blogger. Blogger. The conversation we were having. The conversation we were having was right. volatility in the market. We were talking about right. somebody who's a smart operator like Todd can figure out ways to make money in crypto. He has to be comfortable with some risk though, because there's a lot of risk there. Now, when people start talking about regulation within those spaces. Guess what? At that point, the party's over because you can't make those 20x, 100x uh, type of plays in one day, one hour or whatever. All that goes out the window. That's why, as Aguna said, most people, they want to make a quick lick with crypto and then convert it into dollars and move on. But there are other people who studied it and figured out different ways to make money. But regulated markets like the when we talk about the dollar, the reason it's there is because of what? You always have some guarantee that the U.S. government is the last uh, resort of return no matter what but with crypto no regulation so if you get scammed by you know some operator hey there's nobody to call it, that, that's just it you lost okay it's thank you game. let's look at our comments we're out of time look at our comments we have uh, aguna said he left in march the order we received in may joseph sutler said great show tonight Aguna said, the fact that they are responding means it's true. Stephen Meltdown. Trump incited a riot, but you want to talk about how Waltz responded to a riot and has since been reelected. Keith doesn't like the Voting Rights Act. Black Codes. And then Aguna said, MAGA is a movement and Stephen can't even spell it. Let's start yeah. our round table. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Keith. You can say, you can comment on whatever you like because I wasn't able to cover everything I needed to cover tonight. So Keith and Steven, right. then <clears throat> Blag, I don't even know what it, it is. Bag of Zah. All right, Steven, um, really quickly. Make Steven, it a little bit um, easier because your... I don't have my glasses on. And yeah, then, but I'm smoking uh, Steven, on a bag of Zah, so, you know. 
All okay. Right. All right. You ready? So, Keith, ready? go ahead. Uh, Stephen, I want you to check your, when you get it while, while uh, we're going here, real quickly, check your uh, text. I sent you the executive order that was done by, you know, in Minnesota, that was done by that governor. He, it was an Perfect. executive order on the genders. Yeah, that's it's an actual executive order. So you have it there. All the information's there. Thank, I know these guys. You, yeah, it doesn't matter with these guys though, because remember they are of the progressive uh, movement. And they're, but they're not progressives. Them. They're not even progressives. That's a, yeah. that's not okay, even. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're not gonna. <laughs> Stephen, I DM you my number. I didn't know they were having a little middle school little thing of passing papers around, you know, behind my back. I couldn't read anything they're saying. They're roasting me and like a private roast or something. It's, really, yeah. it's really mature. It's real mature, guys. And it's just it, do, it doesn't help the show at all. But it, it, but at least you you y'all look really good, especially the guy I can't see looks really great tonight. Now what? So, yeah, yeah, you're barely. I I can barely see you. Notice how it, it, any topic in the world. I know it's so easy to get the right information, but all they do, all they do on this show is misinform and lie. But all of, but the people are coming around. That's why we're going to smoke them. That, that, and I said, they don't want to win. They don't have any, either they don't want to win or they know they're going to finally take Donald Trump out because there's no way they should have picked that, that uh, vice president because once the nor normal people can, uh, that are not weird right. you can see this guy right. they'll know what weird right. is this guy's a real joke I mean, he's a really bad guy him and his wife vote? are they gonna vote uh, for kamala are they gonna vote for kamala and her partner? i just wonder they wouldn't tell you Time. see they won't say Time. i can't believe what they won't he, say he like a little little, little lovers back they, here on? they need it they need it gotcha okay good thank you all right can we move on with the round table? <laughs> Stacey, you're yes, on mute. Yes, go ahead, Bogo. I kept saying, I, did, I forgot I was on mute. See, I'm not like you all. When I go on mute, I don't talk. I don't talk over everybody. I was on mute. So, Bogo, uh, I can't, or Blazo, or what's your name? Uh, Ma'am, I'm not going to take this disrespect. No. Uh, but, uh, yeah, answering Stacey's previous question that I, I didn't get a chance to because, uh, you know, somebody threw another tantrum. Uh, when she talked about the Voting Rights Act, which is something that has to be reinstalled, uh, because we can just look at it from this standpoint. The moment the Voting Rights Act laws were somewhat Daddy. taken away mm -hmm. or pulled apart, what did we see immediately? Those same states come up with different, complicated, racist reasons why they could, what would we say, disenfranchise Black folks again within their region? Oh. And again, I'm not calling these folks more racist than anybody else. I'm saying they know they have a significant black population in their area. And for decades, this has been their operation. This has been their operation. So we, we know what they do. But when we put the voting rights bills back in, put the teeth in it, what happens? We have much more democratic uh, participation. And by democratic, I don't mean the Democratic Party. I mean the democratic process of one citizen, one vote, as opposed to trying to stifle votes in order to win on the margins because you can't win with policy. So I'm glad you guys raised that up again because that's going to be a significant thing. And that, I think that's a part of the reawakening of America when we come back to being a country to where we say, hey, I may disagree with you on monetary policy, but I, I agree with you on this social policy. Hey, we can come together and have some type of bipartisan agreement as opposed to calling people stupid, liars, and all the other things Evil. that we've seen tonight where we're just basically trying to color other Americans as the worst thing possible instead of dealing with people as they are, which is real people with opinions. And sometimes you're gonna disagree, but that disagreement doesn't have to be a national divorce or a threat of a civil war. So I look, I look to much that. better, I look to much better times when this MAGA movement dies like the raggedy dog it is. Thank you, Cousin well, Todd. Don't hold your breath. Uh, you didn't go to Aguna, but okay, I'll go. Um, I didn't go ahead, Aguna. Yeah, so I want to talk a little bit about you know this this branding issue that the Trump campaign is running into because I think even with this pick of Vice President Waltz or okay, whatever. Okay, thank you, Aguna. We're out of time. All. What the? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, Aguna. My bad. 
I mean, it, it is what it is. And yeah, he took all your time, and Aguna's about to sit down and have. No, a I, was, I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say one point, and I was gonna move on. But I mean, I clearly there's not ahead, no time. It. Yes, I'm, it is. Quick point: um, JD Vance came out and called Kamala Harris a chameleon. So clearly, they want to move away from this race thing and get to that. Oh, she's just quote unquote. She says what she wants to say to the audience that she's in front of. But I, I'm like, doesn't. Isn't that all politicians? Don't all politicians? Doesn't Donald Trump the master of that? And JD nope. Vance himself called Trump Hitler, just like Stephen called Trump a dictator. Now, like a chameleon, he's changed his stripes, <laughs> and now he's like, "Oh, he's the greatest old idiot. I'm about to Trump. I'm gonna kiss his ring and back is the movement is again." Thank you, Laguna. Yes, thank you. We we were, we were both right now. <laughs> okay. Um, the thing is about this. Uh, Constitution is this uh, Keith keeps holding up this book. The book didn't mean anything, which is why you had to have civil rights. You see, because that book was not for people that look like you. Yes, it, it is. White men only. Not true. This is why, I'm going to take my time, this is why white not, women you, we're out of could time. not That's vote. Thought. This is why white women could not vote because that book was not for them, nor was it for uh, 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 oh, Keith. Marcus. Okay. But it was left open so that can change with time. Yeah, See after that everybody place? died, people were hung and all this other stuff. Exactly. But that's the beauty that's of it. That's the, the beauty of it, that it was left it open so done. things can change. Kill people in order for it to work. And so anyway, and then when government sanctions that racism, which is why they had a segregated military, which is unheard of. And so our blacks are old, whether Keith and Stephen believe that or not. Okay, thank you. To our first responders in our community, communities, you make our lives livable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To the women and men of the US military for all that you do and sacrificing your lives so that we are free to say whatever we choose on this show. We are forever indebted on behalf of Aguna, the voice of reason. The voice of reason. And uh, uh, until until there's a change in the politics. What? I don't know she, what she's talking about. She's such a Trump supporter. Conservative. Iron that thing, man. That's Steven. The independent thinker. Hey man, put some curtains up. Nah. Put some curtains up, man. You need an interior decorator. Jesus. I'm in the base. Um, I'm in the I basement. There's not even a window I, there. Excuse me. I can't pronounce your name. What's your name, sir? Bag of Zah. Bag of Bag of Nuts. Bag of Zah. Remember that song? Us. It was a song. Giving us some, Excuse me. Thank you for joining us and giving us some very, very thought-provoking, enlightening points and my cousin todd yeah todd you, is that orange or was that fuchsia what is that he looks it. like he looks like he's got on a turtleneck i, do not. I think his beard is comes down to his shirt oh you can tell letter. the beard looks like a turtleneck is it a dicky i can't see is it a dicky oh gosh no that would be your Steven, boy you old you know, <laughs> no, but I know, I know, I know. Yeah, Todd likes the Dicky. Todd likes Dicky. I gotta finish my outro. Um, check us out on Stephanie Stallworth's The Flow Television Network. Check us out on X. Check us out. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Spoilertix.com. Like and subscribe. He's warned him before. Check us out on Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you for joining us. It's, it's, it's hard. These, these folks yeah. are hard. We'll see hey, you next week. Todd, where does your Tonight. shirt you get in your beard stop? Where does the shirt you get in your beard stop? <laughs> and by the way, this is my real hair. This is not a wig. It's not a wig. This is my real hair. Did you, you have it done today, Stacey? You have to tell people no, that. No, I didn't. Thank you. Why do you keep saying that? Everybody knows that. Who knows? If everyone you. doesn't know that. Oh, did well, somebody think that wasn't your real hair? No, people may think that, you know, because oh. wigs now, no, wigs nowadays are accessories. They really are. Oh, wow. They're like pocketbooks for women. You know, you change. I didn't, I didn't like know that. Yeah. 
What about for men? This isn't a wig. Huh? Next time I'm wear a wig. But for men, it could be like a wallet. Aguna, would you ever get a toupee? I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it, but you know, I, I like my natural. You really thought about getting a toupee? Yeah, or, or I was going to do like a comb over. Just no, you couldn't do that. See, that, that, hey, might, that, what, that what we wouldn't know you is? any other way, Aguna. Shout, <laughs> out, shout out to LeBron. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying Todd looks like LeBron? No, he's saying LeBron got a a a, a system. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying that Todd's whole thing looks like LeBron. No, <laughs> not saying that. You correct, crazy. I've been going bald since he was twenty five. Yeah, what type of oil do you use in your beard? Man? What type of oil do you use? Um, it's um, it's a de uh, condi leave in conditioner. Wow. And you, can, you, you use any kind of, is it you have any grays or you have like a you no, have like a, have a, any a grays. Soap. Are you crazy? Is it, you, have, you, you, have a, you have like a filler soap? Yeah, he colors it. I do not. <laughs> Are you sure, Todd? You all the stress on this show, you should have some grays in there. No, no, I do not. No. Do you so you'd use crazy? conditioner like you would like you would on people would on their hair. You use it here and just leave a leave on conditioner that you well, hear. So funny is we're doing all this and yeah. guess what? Keith Keith keeps putting up his book. Every few seconds he keeps putting his book up. You guys talking <laughs> and he keeps putting his book up. Yeah, he keeps, <laughs> I mean he just, No, he's, he's keeping us he's here. keeping it straight, man. He's keeping us straight. And I use this well, we, call if down. he kept it straight, he would get a new one that we could actually it's like, all we see is a bunch of wrinkles. How long have you had that thing? Well, it shows that it's worn. That means I actually use it. I actually read it. Yeah, but for what? Reading without comprehension means nothing, sir. Well, is that uh, concerning yourself, my friend? Oh, you so? good one, Chief. You think so? But I think we know what we're talking about here. Keith, you have a reputation. We just have two different uh, ideas, uh, uh, visions of. Uh, You're a black man up. who's against the Voting Rights Act. Shut up. We just, yes, mm -hmm. I am. We're just to get we are you we against it? it? Why are you against it? Because, because we don't it need it. Because uh, everybody can vote right it. now. So, so what is we it doing it. though? Because we don't need it. With so you're against it because we don't need it, you. but you don't believe in what it's for. The right of citizens. Hey, Todd, what the is, camera is not a mirror, Todd. This, this is so a ignorant, federal Aguna. law. Federal Aguna, Constitution. Why don't you come on the show next week with a beard like Todd's? Federal <laughs> I don't know if I can grow it. I don't know if I can grow it that quick. Like that. No. No, you can buy Federal. one. Buy hey, one. Everybody yeah, buy find out, like find Todd. out where where he got. I found out where Todd got his beard. Todd, yeah, send him one. That's a beard weave. That's a beard weave. Todd? <laughs> <laughs> this is really long. I, I just pile it up, but this is really long. If if I pulled it out, disgusting. You go, you go pull it off. You go pull it off. You get fresh fries. Why y'all playing? Eat a, a, a beer weave might put you in the game with some women, man. I don't know. That might be a good idea. <laughs> beer weave out That's here. Disgusting. I'm not wearing a beard. That weave thing looks weave. very dirty. He no, he, know, he, he, he leaves conditioner in it. Obsess with it. Stop picking at it, Todd. What's wrong with you? It's gonna come out. He's gonna, he's gonna have some breakage. <laughs> No, it's not. It's strong. And I use um it's called like glass. It's a to shine it up. Wow. Anyway. When I grow mine long again, I'll I'll get some of that glass. <laughs> but in the summertime, I had to cut it back a little bit. It got too hot. Yeah, because when you put up put your when you put your hood on, it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it don't matter if you're bald. If you're bald with no hair on your face, once that hood goes over your head, you're sweating. And the and if you get too close to the fire, if you get too close to the fire, you need to be really hot. That beard is a, is a fire next hazard. Week, you burn across. Next week we're going to actually get some work done. Next week we're going to actually get some work done. We're going to actually get to some policies and get to some. Good hey, luck with that. You guys don't know any policies, Stacy. They all they know is you know whatever's on the dark web and. <laughs> yeah, all they want to do here is play hopscotch. They don't want to find policies. I, I was watching yes, CNN uh, just just a couple of days ago. They were like, "This is not coming down to policies. He, he, this is coming down to personalities." And I'm like, "That's yeah, that's what y'all want. Y'all don't want policies." 
says the yeah. MAGA supporter. Hey, Stephen, I just sent just you a do. policy. I sent one okay. Spell policy. Spell they policy, don't want it. Spell they policy. don't want it. You don't they want don't it. want no, they don't want they can't they can't go toe to toe with policies. They can't win that way. Right. They Dude, sure can't. Y'all have a Steven, set of policy Steven, on this Steven uses a bottle of cleaner that is five in one. It's for body, hair, shampoo, conditioner. You car, bring uh white No, I don't I don't, I don't, sh I don't shampoo. Oh, I just I just condition. I don't use shampoo. Do you use a shampoo? Shampoo's not good for your hair. Easy. Do you, you use a washcloth? Uh, I'm so big, I have to use a beach towel to, to bathe with. My proposal <laughs> is you guys bring to the table next time. You bring to the table Again, you the policies. I'm not you bring the policies. Shit. No, you do it, uh, Nas. We, you we bring tried the to do it earlier, of, uh, and both of Harris you are no. no, man, you bring not the the no, You're right. We, and we'll bring the policies of Trump. We don't have to do it. We can talk about it now. We talk about it now. We, we don't need to wait till next week. Hold down his we don't have we don't to, need to wait till next week. Let's talk about it now. You want to talk policy? Let's go. Let's go, Keith. You want to talk okay, policy? You want to run off and do some research. You we should have done a research plan. You should have been doing research. Five in That's one, please. Policies. Call us policies. back next week. Watch while the Title 42. All right, Title 42. Title 42. What about it? Trump had it in place. Biden And what did Biden change about it? What did Biden change about it? He stopped the right, uh, I'm out of here. He amended it for he amended nice. it for no, he he separate their families. He wouldn't no, separate spin. children from their families. No, don't come with hey, you better no. you better don't bring a pea shooter to a gun fight. No. I know he said, policy keep the, we keep kept the it illegals in, in, in uh, Mexico. We got criticized for Biden we got said, criticized no. for remaining in a place. He, said, he amended why aren't they it. They remaining in Mexico. Hey, you want to talk policy, you don't want to talk. He Why don't no, Aguna. You, we Aguna. We didn't. Yeah, Trump we wouldn't have let in place all place these place millions place. into our into our country. Trump wouldn't have allowed that. He that Biden Biden changed all of his policies no, with executive not. orders, and not. then he now that it's close to election time, Biden has tightened up the border, no. which he could have done the whole time, but they wanted everybody in this country for votes. And I everything else. Joe Biden, Joe you Biden, know, the people that have been running be Joe Biden Congress. for four years. It should be the Congress people that have been be. running Joe Biden. You, don't know, you, you know how government works? Congress yeah. Uh, hey, 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 no, Congress do don't need to do a damn order. thing when it's executive order. I got a pen Why? and I got a piece. I got to be. Can that's I, that's how it works, Gunnar. You, know. no, you can do. Work. You can do it. Yeah, do you it. can do executive you orders. Do Why should you do that? They got mad at Obama. Can I run my conspiracy by you, though, Gunnar? I got a conspiracy. Yeah. My conspiracy mm -hmm. is the deep state installed J.D. Vance as Trump's partner in order to make him lose. That's my conspiracy. <laughs> no, he, J.D. J.D. <laughs> Vance got a great out. record, and he I'm he can yeah. stand on his own two feet. Hey, he's yeah. he, he's gonna he tear he's gonna he tear wheels down. up or walls up okay. or whatever. He's That's not gonna be a contest. Yeah, he's a smart he's kid. Awkward, man. He's socially awkward. No. No, he's and fine. And by the way, you know Kamala had Hunter Biden's laptop. Agu, nope. you know you transform it. The, right? the yeah, FBI yeah. had the la laptop, no, and they Kamala lied had, about it. Had, and that that's another reason Kamala 2020 was room, stolen. She wanted open borders. Oh, she wanted huh. open borders. Because yeah, okay, that's just what she wanted. No, that's what Democrats, they just want Aguna, open borders. They want anybody in this country. They wanted, they well, wanted open borders. Yeah. And, and we, have, we have people from 180 states here, man. I mean, 180 countries in this country, it's but then they're unvetted, uh, and there's so, there's millions of them unvetted. We're in a lot of trouble. I keep trying to why tell you, a, a country cannot withstand this invasion. So why hasn't we're in a lot of trouble. Happened since 9/11. It's not happened yet. Nope. That's it's so coming. It's been 20 years. Yep, it's coming. There's never been a border invasion like we had in the last four years. There's never been a border invasion in this country that we've had like the last four years. If you want to destroy a country, if you want to destroy a country, open up the borders. Why are they coming here? The people, my people came here through Ellis Island and we came here to work. These people don't come here to work. These people don't come here to work. When y'all came here, y'all came, y'all didn't get everything for free. Nobody Steven, did, but that's what these happen? people are getting everything for free. That ought to piss all of y'all off. Why isn't this invasion happening? Why is it happening? There's a multitude of reasons and some things we don't oh, understand okay, so yet. So but they want but this this governor of Minnesota wants to give everybody a driver's license so they can get the chance 
to vote. This is going to happen. It's going to be a lot more illegal voting. It's going to be a lot because it's illegal voting. And who absolutely knows what's I, I, and another thing is, you know, I don't know why would you let all of these people in here that are unvetted, that are that are that like Donald Trump said when he came down the first time, he said they should be killers, rapists. So the, problem, the people are the vetting. There's the, you can't, it's, it's such an invasion. You can't vet you. They, they, they needed the national guard all up along the whole so, Southern border. And they're coming here to work, right? They're not coming here to work. They, they get put in, a lot of them get put into apartment buildings or hotels and they're given money and they're given money and everything else. And the same phone that Stacy has, they're getting all this stuff. You're going to be complaining. Yeah, they're, they're not, not coming. Uh, some people, I have friends that have come here to work. But a lot of these people are not coming here to work. A lot of these people well, just get all the all benefits the that they can. Are, the there's, there's, a, there's a strange reason why they're doing this to people. Put in place. You need to improve no. the vetting process. Let's talk solutions. There's no Let's vetting. Yeah, there's a little bit of vetting. But there's millions who haven't been are vetted. Are you against immigrants? Mexico no, I'm for immigrants. I have friends that immigrants, but you have to do it the Mexico right way. Mexico has a bigger immigration problem than we do because they're actually Donald Trump America. was doing his best to stop, and he had uh, policies like uh, that he was just talking about. He had good policies to keep them at the closest state to where they're coming hey, from. How is my hair? Is my hair okay? No. Okay, your beard is so long, I couldn't even tell you had hair. Look, man. Okay, I'm leaving because no, I'm just man. playing with you, man. Don't take it personally. I was just You're joking. Taking this abuse from you, freak. <laughs> Till next week. Till next week. Hey, y'all. Peace out. Peace. Much love.